This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Court of Appeal reserves decision on soldiers' bail. The Court of Appeal has reserved its decision on an application for bail for the two soldiers convicted in military court for the disappearance of two high-powered weapons from the Jamaica Defense Forces Army last year. The bail application was conducted in a virtual in-camera hearing yesterday before Justice Judith Foster. The lawyers are seeking bail for Lascelles Gardner and Horace Ellis pending an application for leave to challenge their conviction. Gardner and Ellis pleaded guilty to losing public property and disobedience to the standing orders and were both sentenced to over 600 days in prison at the JDF's camp last August. Both were fingered after the two M16 rifles were discovered missing from the Army's South Camp Base in St. Andrew on February 15, 2020, after an inventory exercise was carried out. But the soldiers will be challenging their conviction on the basis that their pleas were neither voluntary nor freely entered. They are also seeking a declaration from the court to determine whether the ordinary court-martial falls under the constitutional stipulation of an independent and impartial tribunal as required by Section 16 of the Constitution. The men also want the court to indicate whether their imprisonment is consistent with the permissible derogations of rights to liberty as listed and outlined under Section 14.1 of the Constitution. Attorneys at law Isaac Buchanan and John Clark are representing the soldiers. Chief of Defense Staff Lieutenant General Rocky Mead reported last year that the weapons had not been found and that the Army had sought the help of the police to trace the weapons. The JDF had indicated that it would have reviewed its weapons protocol after Corporal Doran McKenzie, who worked at the Army, allegedly removed a weapon that was later reportedly used to kill his girlfriend, Suin Easy, at their Greater Portmore St. Catherine home in January last year. Fatal Crash on Edward Siaga Highway in St. Catherine a man has died and three others were left in nursing injuries from a motor vehicle crash on a section of the Edward Siaga Highway in St. Catherine on Wednesday. The full details of the crash are unclear at this time, but reports are that the driver of a Nissan motor car lost control of the vehicle, which ran off the road on the Toll Highway close to the Linstead turn-off. Further reports are that the vehicle ended up crashing into a tree. The injured persons were rushed to the hospital where a man was pronounced dead and three others admitted for treatment. Woman held with ammunition in handbag at airport charged. A woman was on Tuesday taken into custody and charged with illegal possession of ammunition after several rounds were found in a handbag she was carrying at the Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James. She is 37-year-old Colian Dunsby, an accountant of College Park, Georgia, in the United States. The police report that about 3 p.m., Dunsby was proceeding through the security checkpoint when her handbag was searched. According to the police, a total of 23 rounds of ammunition were found. She was subsequently arrested and charged. Dunsby is scheduled to appear before the Western Regional Gun Court on Friday, June 18. Man shot and killed in St. Thomas The police in St. Thomas are probing the shooting death of a man. He is 60-year-old Isaac Johnson, otherwise called Paul or Froggist, a laborer of Fat Stuff Lane in Trinityville. The police report that about 3.50 on Tuesday afternoon, Johnson was doing steel work in an open lot located on Anglican Lane in the community when he was attacked by unknown assailants. Cops at the nearby Trinityville police station were alerted by loud explosions and went to investigate. On their arrival, Johnson's body was seen with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the head and upper body. Stop tampering with food handlers permits, Manchester Health Department warns. The Manchester Health Department today released a statement warning residents to stop tampering with food handlers permits issued to them as it could result in a fine or imprisonment. The health department says it has noticed an increase in the attempts by people 
to tamper with the food handler's permits in an effort to avoid the legal renewal process and the associated costs. However, the department in the statement reminds the public that the food handler's permit is a legal document and if people are caught interfering with it, they will be subjected to legal recourse which may result in a fine not exceeding $1 million or 12 months imprisonment. The health department is asking members of the public to ensure that they meet the requisite application at the nearest health department in their parish for the renewal of their permits. Tamper probe into cartel phone. The cellular phone of incarcerated dancehall artist Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer, which contained damning text and voice messages linking him to the murder of Clive Lizard Williams, is currently being analyzed by an expert for possible signs of tampering. The exhibit is among four evidential materials that the defense team had obtained permission from the Supreme Court to examine via a court order received on May 13. The order, which was made by Justice Leighton Pusey, gives the defense permission to not only analyze the cell phone, but to mark a DVD containing a video of the murder, DVD with voice notes, and a compact disc. Vibes Cartel, along with fellow entertainer Sean Shornstorm Campbell, Kahira Jones, and Andre St. John, was convicted for the August 16, 2011 murder of Williams in Havendale, St. Andrew, but are seeking to have their life sentences overturned at the Privy Council. Attorney at law Isaac Buchanan, who is representing Palmer, said that the defense has always taken the position that there was significant tampering with cell phone evidence. The items are to be made available to the defense examiner on condition that the items do not leave the island and that the examiner not tamper with or change the original exhibit or any material. The items are to be examined in the presence of an officer of the court and an expert from the Crown. The court also ordered that the item should only be handled by an officer of the court and the approved examiner. Cartel was ordered to serve 35 years before parole and St. John 30 years. The other two convicts were ordered to serve 20 years before being eligible for parole, but the accused each had two years shaved off their sentences following their appeal. Attorney at law John Clark is representing Jones and St. John, while attorney at law Bert Samuels is representing Campbell. Manchester man on firearm charges. An unemployed man of Manchester who shot at two people after they argued with his uncle has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and shooting with intent in the parish on Sunday, June 13. Reports are that 25-year-old Romario Chambers fired several gunshots in the direction of two complainants after they got into a dispute with his uncle. They both managed to escape unharmed. The police said Chambers was arrested and charged after he was pointed out to the police by both complainants. Murdered man's stepdad said he dreamt of his death. Oral Faulkner was inconsolable yesterday, particularly because he and his daughter, he said, had dreamt that his stepson, 20-year-old Conroy Moody, would die. The dream became reality when Moody was shot dead by gunmen in Seawright Gardens, also known as Cockburn Pen in St. Andrew, in the afternoon as he prepared to return to work on a construction site after lunch. We get a vision because we always see things before it happen. My daughter get it too. Fongna told the news. I eat me sit down I eat and a friend come tell me. Me end up half a dash with me food, added Faulkner who said his stepson was days away from migrating to the United States. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.